Welcome to another episode of Adventures of Kramer. So today's video is all about new workout routine. So I've tried doing the kind of one punch man workout before that just is pushing a little too hard, especially with work. And so I've tried to modify it and try and make this a little bit more realistic along the way. So <laughs> try number two on the new workout. So one thing to get started with is just where am I at right now? Um, so I just weighed in this morning um, in my birthday suit. I was at 240.5 pounds. I have gained some weight <laughs> because of Thanksgiving there. And from there to try and do more than 25 knee push-ups, my arms really start to burn to do more than 30 sit-ups in a row. My abs really start to kind of burn. It's definitely along like the hip kind of flexors too. Um, to do more than 50 squats, that just really starts to hurt a lot more. I definitely have a lot more lower body strength than I do upper. Um, regular pull-ups, I can barely do like two or three, um, and that's even using a like that like modified band, basically like a giant rubber band to be able to help pull myself up some. Um, to do like 12 or a little bit more um, of the modified incline pull-ups, that's really pushing it on the arms too. So. And then eight minute miles, that's that's pushing hard. Like I, I definitely need a break after doing that. So I know it's not as fast as other people or as much, but this is where I'm starting with and I'm hoping to kind of keep working from there. I have some goals. Um, I have set two different types of goals for me. A short-term one that's in 30 days and a long-term one that are 60 days. I'm gonna have some micro goals in between kind of more like on a weekly basis, but that's just kind of more for myself. So in 30 days, I hope to lose 10 pounds. Um, so again, my goal is to try and go from like 240 all the way down to 230. I pretty much want to try and eat the same. I don't want to go too crazy right off the bat. I've tried doing that before and that just, uh, food gets boring. And so I do want to try working to get a little bit healthier, get some more veggies and stuff worked in. Um, who knows, maybe I'll do a, a veggie pizza here coming up soon. And then still use the pre-workout kind of mixture. And I'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. Long-term, I want to try and drop 20 pounds in 60 days. So that'll be towards like the end of January. Um, I want to try incorporating a few more days of just a lot healthier types of foods. Um, maybe even do some of those like where they deliver the different food box plants and cooking up some of the different foods. Uh, and then kind of switch out that pre-workout kind of sports drink caffeine mix with just some like coffee and oatmeal that sounds pretty tasty and help work that in the routine um now what the routine kind of sets out i will be doing daily self-progress photos and um but that's going to be shown in like a 30-day transformation kind of video at like the start of the new year and kind of, hey, what I've done over the past 30 days. Uh, from there, a 15 minute yoga routine. Definitely have to have that pre-workout going before. Knee push-ups, sit-ups, squats, some of those modified pull-ups. And then when the weather's nice, jog outside. When the weather's not nice and we hit some snow or ice, um, use the elliptical that I have. And then I want to jog for quarter mile. So going faster, but not like all out kind of running. And then walk the last little bit kind of talk about that a little bit more as time goes on so the photos that i want to try and do is going to be after every morning after weighing in um i don't know if this is too many photos when trying to make like kind of a a powerpoint collage at the end of it i want to try and do like unflexed front and sides um let's just see how comfortable i am doing that kind of i don't know um from there do flex front and flex sides i'm not sure if that's too many if i should just be doing just kind of something in between if you got ideas definitely let me know um and i want to try doing an emotion ranking chart to where it's just like hey how do i feel after waking up in the morning do i feel like happy and good do i it's like eh, kind of so so maybe a little bit sore or for some reason i'm feeling kind of like bummed out i'm not sure um I didn't know if that might be a nice easy thing. So kind of like somewhere near the photo, I'll actually have either like a happy face, a neutral face and a sad face or something like that. And see, kind of just as that timeline progresses. 
and then do those kind of slideshow type pieces after 30 days and after 60 days, kind of see how this routine's working out. Now, my pre-workout drink, what it is, it's gonna be a half a scoop of the powdered sports drink and um, a half a scoop of this caffeine pre-workout, specifically called pre-workout on it. It does have a considerable amount of caffeine. Um, I used to do a full scoop that was way too much. And so I've cut that back down and I do have about twice the amount of water. And one thing that I noticed is that if I use cold water, no matter how much I shook it up, and with like those like shaker bottles that have the little metal rings inside there to try and help mix it up better, it would still be grainy at the bottom, which was really annoying. And the same thing for the caffeine. Um, and what I wanna try and do is I, I use warm water now. It, it's different to try and taste, but it does blend it up a lot better. And I like that a little bit more. And plus it's cold outside, so it's, it's not too bad. Um, I do worry about that caffeine being added in there. And because I know last time that I stopped doing the workouts that I did have some nasty headaches for at least like a day or so afterwards. Um, so just definitely wanna try and kind of take that one easy. And that's why I've tried to cut back on the amount of pre-workout and increase the water volume as well. To do that though, I wanna do yoga for 15 minutes and my dogs are always next to me while I'm doing yoga. And sometimes I lose the ball along the way and <laughs> I've never thrown it. This time I happened to actually throw the ball back in behind the fireplace halfway through and had to go back and try and get it. I really wanna focus on like flexibility on my back and try and help make sure that's nice and stretched up, do good like kind of rotational type stuff, really get the hips flexing really nice. And so it's something else that I'm trying to work on and really helping to make sure the thighs are doing really good. So just some different pieces in there, helping try and work on. Next is the knee push-ups. Um, for all this stuff, I'm doing five sets, 20 reps in each set. Well, for the main stuff, I'm trying to work on having a nice flat back. So not dipping or arching or like sticking my butt up in the air. Um, I think that'll be just something good that I'm trying to practice. I'm getting better at it. It's just weird to not, it's weird to know because you can't see it on my own, like kind of self as I'm going uh, without going back and rewatching videos. So I do like that how my form has gotten better. And again, just trying to keep working on that. My goal is to eventually get up to full push-ups, but it's going to take time. I don't, I don't see myself getting to full push-ups in this first 30 days or 60 days by still being able to do the amount of sets that I'm wanting to do. Next is trying to be able to do those sit-ups and really making sure to get a good like breathing routine in, breathe out on the way up, and then breathe in on the way back. And usually Bailey's always there on top of the couch. Couldn't see her. She was off to the left side a little bit farther. Um, and really kind of have my hands up on my shoulders or right up there near the collarbones. One thing I've been liking to do is kind of like looping my pinky finger around the sleeve of the shirt and my thumb around the collar, kind of looping up inside there, but that's been working pretty good for me. Next, I really want to try and keep working on squats. Squats are one of my like easiest types of routines to be able to help keep doing. I do think I'll need to modify and add in some maybe some extra weights with this. I don't know if necessarily doing more reps will be any better, but maybe just try and make them a little bit more challenging. I have some different like one gallon jugs of water kind of setting off the side. And so I think sometimes using those might be able to help out just to be able to make it a little bit more dynamic. One thing that I, I have read okay. in different videos. So to try and help out, because you can't do regular pull-ups yet, I'm doing from what I saw in a video where they're like incline pull-ups. So you kind of lay back at like a 45 to like an even like lower down 30 degree angle. And then you pull up from a bar from there. And so I do already have a pull-up kind of like, well, you'll see it in the video. Um, but I can adjust it down from whenever doing like normal kind of like weights and being able to lift up from there. But I want to be able to try and pull from there. I happen to have an old bar and so I'm just going to try and clean it up some and then cut it to it fits in length like in between the two sides nice and easy and just kind of go from there. I'm going to clean it up just so that it's 
easier and my hands don't come out super dirty because it's old and it's rusty. So you'll see. Ready for the time lapse. So as you can see here, I'm just using a wire wheel brush just to really try and help get off a lot of that stuff. I had the mask on because I did not want to be breathing in all the old rust and everything like that off the metal. And so got that all cleaned off. But in cleaning it though, ended up finding something kind of neat on there, just an older pipe. Uh, it actually says kind of embossed on the side and it's going to be super hard to be able to see, but it's moving across there. There you go. You can kind of see it. It says National USA. <laughs> so I wasn't planning on doing something different with it. And I wanted to paint the whole thing orange just because I really like orange. But I think after I cut it to length, um, I might end up trying to keep it clear. I'm just going to use a Sharpie for now and kind of letter over that. I think that's kind of neat. <laughs> All right, on to the next piece. the pipe my hands get super dirty so I need to try and clean it off and that way I can kind of mark it up from there I was super happy with how that turned out. Definitely nice and clean and my hands don't get super dirty after grabbing the pipe. So now we have the modified pull-ups and these are ones that I found some different videos online. I just kind of have my feet nice and flat on the ground, kind of set down. I want to do more of an incline, but it kind of makes the whole little setup rock back and forth some. So I'm trying to pull closer to vertical as I can. Um, it works. I can definitely feel it. I want to try and this is one thing that was missing in some of this kind of workout routine is having something more doing like my upper back and more focused on kind of pulling up on the arms. So I'm still going to try and do the five sets, except for I'm cutting it down to only 10 reps in each set instead of the 20. My arms just currently cannot handle that and kind of just see how it builds up from there. Up last, if it's nice outside, I'm going to just jog down for a quarter mile. Um, this just happens to be like the longest straight stretch in the area where normally I go that um, you can actually sit and see and then walk back that quarter mile. There's definitely, it's longer, but this is just kind of where it was at for showing. Uh, from there though, if I'm inside, I want to try and do the quarter mile with a little bit of resistance and I can adjust the incline a little bit, trying to go six, seven miles an hour. So kind of push a little hard and then walk into where it's kind of flatten it out, drop the resistance down some and do a quarter mile. So make it kind of a little bit easier in between there. I think in that the extra walking really helps kind of keep the blood flowing, taking time and just help get any type of like lactic acid that's starting to build up inside the muscles. I don't want to push it too hard. I definitely want to get better, but I don't want to go to the point where I'm like injuring myself or hurting myself by going too hardcore on this. Now, some things I've been thinking, how can I help stay motivated? I want to share progress on social media, find some motivational quotes, maybe put them up on little like sticky notes and like post them up on workout area, um, set some mini goals, maybe some type of little like rewards for helping to do that. Try and find somebody else to be able to do virtual morning workouts with. So it's not just like myself that kind of gets hard when it's just like, oh, hey, I'm doing it. But sometimes when there's somebody else that really helps out a lot, um, having cheat days. And so I'm thinking maybe like one of the days in the week, maybe I'm 
playing some video games, doing some like VR, playing Beat Saber. That is a really fun game. And if you get going a lot, I mean, I'll have to like pause and clean off the lenses because they start fogging up from starting to sweat. Uh, other different rewards could be just like foods or treats, or maybe it's being able to go do like a, if I did a good week, a pizza review, which is really fun. Um, check in with others on their progress and that can help me stay motivated by them continuing to work hard. And then I want to just feel better and eat healthier. I mean, that's just something I think that's, it's good to be able to do. Maybe there's some fun different exercise apps. If I get kind of bored, I've no, I, I know I've done some of the different ones like the zombies run or, um, I've seen another app where you create like a, a virtual character and it's like a role playing type game. And like you set and level up your character based upon your different exercise routines. And then if you have other different ideas out there, love to sit and hear them, post them in the comments down below. That'd be awesome. Now, this is what I'm thinking for the routine. Um, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, normal Wednesday, also normal, unless I'm feeling like I just need a little bit of a break and do like the kind of VR video game type stuff with the Beat Saber. I still want to do at least a one to two mile walk. Um, I always do that in English because I want to try and get the dog to walk. Um, if it starts getting snow outside, then that's just going to be something else I'm going to have to try and work out. Uh, maybe one of the days I end up swapping out this workout and I just do like some snowshoeing or something. Um, Thursday, Friday, again, normal. But one thing that I want to add in that I didn't have the last time I tried doing this, I think that's why I pushed it just too hard and it just started to hurt, is I want a full day relax and recover. Saturday is normally my relax and recover day of just, that's what I do. I, I take that time to be able to help set that aside. And I'm not sure. I'm debating on whether or not to do some fasting involved in there. I've seen a lot of different stuff online uh also different personal reasons involved in that and still be able to try and do some of the walks uh have some tea or like different water things like that um but again doing those five sets of the 20 knee push-ups the 20 sit-ups 20 squats the 10 pull-ups and about the half mile jog or walk whether it's outside or um, on the elliptical depending if the weather's bad Thank you for watching. I sure appreciate that. If you like this, please hit the like button. Um, subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell notification if you like watching a bunch of different random stuff. Comment down below. And peace, everybody.